a huge crab. Hell yeah. Let's see if I can multitask. And carry like everything all by myself. And I am by myself today, so let's see what happens. Crab trap first. Chicken slides down between the, the two rods, and then this little plastic piece right here slides down, locks the, the bait in place. That way, that chicken is centered and it's secured. So now it's ready to get casted out. trap and sometimes I'll swing it back and forth just to get a little bit of momentum and then once I'm ready get some hip and toss it out as far as I can as hard as I can which is why I'm using 80 pound gorilla line so Anyways, I just threw out the the rod and reel castable crab trap, and then um, I was gonna tie the GoPro into the, the crab cage, but I forgot some some braided line I was gonna use to tie it. So I'm just heading back to the car. The car's right there. Crabbing spots right there. So not bad for a parking distance. All these cars right here. Just piled up waiting for the ferry. I'm just gonna grab some braided line from this uh this reel. It's uh drizzling a little bit, not that bad. Right, so I'm gonna put this camera and tie it in the, the crab trap cage. I gotta figure out which way to position it. I think I just tied it to the side of the wall last time. So I just tied on a little uh security line and I'm going to use this other piece of uh, braided line to tie the, the GoPro. High tide is in about two hours so I'm hoping the, the crab activity will pick up. Forgot how I did it last time. Okay we just finished tying the GoPro onto the crab cage. So I just tied it on the side where it's kind of facing all three doors. Hopefully I get a good angle. Um, so now I just gotta put the, the bait in the bait compartment. So I got these chicken leg quarters. I'll toss it right down the middle compartment. I think it's spoiled. Look at it. Looks like some nasty juices in there. What is it? Pacific oysters. So now I got the chicken right inside. I'm gonna add this nasty oyster juice to it. So 
I searched on the internet, it says high tide will be at 12 p.m. Right now it is, let's see if we can see on my phone. It's 9.49 a.m. right now. So 12 p.m. is high tide. The water is rising right now. And then we see if that makes a difference. I've come here in low tide before and did okay, but I feel like I catch more crab when it's, uh, when it's on high tide, so. Excuse the loud train right there. All right, let's see what happens. Oh yeah, we got success with the cage. I just pulled a couple crabs out of there. Look what we got. We got a nice size keeper. Dungeon this crab right there. Oh yeah, baby. That's a big boy right there. Okay. Let's take my crab. Let's see. So from that point right there. So it's almost to the far slot right there and the far slot is seven inches so six and a quarter is right about where my index finger is at so this guy is way past the legal size ferry's just right behind me and that's where i'm catching these dungeness crabs just right out here in this little ferry launch the launch is actually on the other side right there and i'm on this dock which is a public access dock you can come here, stroll around, just wander. Good size dungeon crab right here. I'm gonna throw them in the bucket, throw some fresh salt water in there, and try and get some more. One crab keeper. There's four more to go. Hell yeah. Throw that guy in the water. Flip him over. She was good. Dude, that is a huge crab. Hell yeah. Ferry just got back. Woo! Look at that crab, dude. It's pretty much almost as big as a trap. Man. Hell yeah, baby. Oh my god, this guy is over seven inches. Oh my god, dude. Look at that point. All the way to the other side. As soon as I pulled the trap, saw something real heavy. Just that guy's gone. Look at him. Out of here. Over seven inches. It's my biggest crab of the day. Hell yeah, baby. This is what happens when you leave your bait out for too long. 10 15 minutes. That's when I pull it in and check it. But uh, that one I left a little too long. Dead weight. <laughs> Woo! That's number three. Definitely a keeper. Start from one end. Oh yeah. It is over six and a half. Let's do this. That's keeper number three. Whew. That is nice. A 
Well, the sun's out. It's a beautiful morning. Um, I got three keepers so far. Things kind of slowed down a little bit. It's kind of a grind right now, but uh, that's not gonna stop us from enjoying this this beautiful weather. Ferries right over there. Yes! Nice! Missing one arm. Woo. It's small inside. It's small one inside, yes. Good size. Look at that guy. Hanging out the trap. Oh yeah, boy, limit out. Gonna have some rice and some Dungeness crab. That's five right there. I think most of them are close to seven inches. From shell to shell. And some uh, garlic salt on there. 